Hi, I'm Dean Perrine, and on behalf of 1623 Farnham, I'd like to welcome Mr. Bruce Garrison. Bruce is the KS FiberNet CEO and also my, uh, my longtime friend, Mr. Todd Cushing. Todd is the president of 1623 Farnham. Gentlemen, thanks very much for uh, taking some time to speak with me today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks, Dean. You bet, you bet. And Bruce, let's go ahead and start with you. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about KS FiberNet? Uh, so uh, KS FiberNet, uh, or abbreviated as, as KFN, we are a communications infrastructure provider. Uh, so what, is, what that mean is uh, we put fiber in the ground uh, to enable all the great technologies that are going on in uh, healthcare, finance, government, education, and so forth. Uh, also with the mobile carriers. Uh, we operate a 4,000 mile route mile network in Kansas. Um, we are, have done some expansion into adjacent markets, hence the reason we're having this conversation. Uh, and we largely serve the mobile carriers and, like I said, the large uh, enterprise companies uh, that are doing so much innovation in, in today's di digital uh, economy. So as you just uh, um, noted, uh, we're here for a very specific reason. Um, there's some, some new news coming out uh, of your newsroom um, uh, regarding a, uh, a partnership of sorts with 1623 Farnham. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, we just recently did a network expansion to 1623 uh, Farnham and, and uh, the driver behind that is uh, all fiber touches a data center. Um, not all data centers are created equal. So it's important for us to be able to provide better solutions to data centers that are dense in network, dense in content and dense in eyeballs. Uh, so that was uh, exactly where uh, 1623 Farnham falls. Uh, it also gives our enterprise customers a, uh, an alternative to different uh, public cloud providers. Uh, and it, it's uh, in line with our expansion into adjacent markets where we can serve more customers. So, um, you know, looking forward to the partnership and kind of hit, it really hits our long-term strategy. Let's, let's talk a little bit about that long-term strategy. I'm going to go off uh, script just a little bit. Um, uh, clearly there was a, uh, there was a, a strategy behind who you might partner with. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, um, about that strategy and why ultimately you chose 1623 Farnham? Yeah. Uh, I mean, our, our, at K, uh, KFN, um, our uh, kind of strategy for the foreseeable future uh, is it's one to put more network in the ground, um, put more fiber into uh, a lot of secondary and tertiary markets. So some of the underserved markets in the Midwest, um, it is to provide bandwidth solutions to more of those customers. And that healthcare company that may be operating in uh, kind of a, a, you know, a, a market uh, outside of Kansas City, they want access to the same applications, the same cloud services, uh, and uh, by extending our network to 1623 Farm, it allows us to do that uh, and, and serve those, let's call it more rural market enterprises um, with the same technologies they can get in, um, from downtown Kansas City or downtown Chicago. Awesome. So, um, and we're specifically, the news is specific, it's specifically about an Omaha point of presence. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Yep. It is a, uh, you know, premier location in the Midwest for us. Uh, like I said, adjacent market that I've said a couple of times. Uh, and, you know, you just have to give network choices to your customers. Uh, and so uh, being able to extend our network uh, to a, a, a site in the, a, in the Midwest that has so many networks and, and content in, in the facility, it just allows us to better serve our, our enterprise customers, our mobile carriers, uh, and, and actually serve more of them as well. Every relationship is a two-way street. Uh, so why don't you tell us um, from your perspective about the relationship that you have with KS FiberNet and, and ultimately how that relationship will benefit your customers? Sure. For Kansas FiberNet, we were, they're, they're obviously known. They're a big presence in the Kansas market, you know, the, the Kansas City market. And, and I knew Bruce uh, through prior lives. Uh, and so we were excited to see him join uh, KFN. For us, adding carriers is a big part of what we're looking for. So the ecosystem needs to grow at 1623 and it continues to grow. 
And so we're super excited to see somebody who's as connected as they were come into our facility to take down some you know, real estate and be able to have more connectivity uh, happen and be able to you know, have people be able to share, peer, uh, connect through KFN in our facility. So we're, we're really, really, really excited to have them be part of the team. Outstanding. Well, gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for your time today. That is all the time that we have. Um, and, uh, and thank you viewers for, for tuning in. We'll see you soon.